Hello students, what is an angle? And that's the question we're going to tackle today. We have learned that an angle is formed when two lines meet. So first I'm going to be drawing one line. Now it needs to be when two lines meet, so I need to draw two lines that meet. Okay, when they meet, this point is called a common point, or I'm also going to be calling it a vertex. Okay, this is a more mathematical name for this point. And an angle is formed um, at this point. There are actually four angles, but I'm going to only be looking at this one. The size of an angle depends on the amount of turning. So I'm going to show in geo strips. If this is my geo strip, I'm going to put this knob on the vertex. Okay, I'm going to put it on one of the lines. And the size of an angle is actually how much the amount of turning. So if I turn from here all the way to there, this is the amount of turning, and that is the angle that is formed. So I'm going to mark it out here on my board. This is the angle that we are looking at. Okay, so we learned that um, a right angle looks like this. Yes, a right angle is when we turn. The size of a right angle is you turn from here all the way there. So a right angle looks something like that. Yep, and we're going to compare this angle that we have here with a right angle and I'm going to put the end, the corner of this right paper right angle on the vertex. I'm going to align one of the lines with the end of this right angle and as you can see that one side or one part of this angle, this line is blocked by the paper right angle. This tells me that the angle made is smaller than a right angle. Yeah, As you can see if it's a right angle it will turn all the way there, okay, so the amount of turning is big. But for the angle that we have, it is only turning this amount. So the angle that we turn is smaller. So if, if one of the lines is blocked by the paper right angle, we call this angle an acute angle. An acute angle is smaller than a 90 degrees, okay. It is smaller than a right angle. Okay, now let's look at the second angle. Let me change this up. Let us look at the second angle. I have two lines. One line here and one line there. Remember, they meet at a point called a vertex. The angle is the amount of turning from here all the way to there. So I'm going to mark it out with a curve. Okay. Let me compare this angle to a right angle. I'm going to put the corner at the vertex and one of the sides aligned with one of the lines. And as you can see, the second line is not covered by or not blocked by our paper right angle, meaning we are turning to a right angle and more than a right angle. So this angle that we have is greater than a right angle. The name given to it is called obtuse because an obtuse angle is greater, or what we call bigger than a right angle. Okay, so remember if it's smaller, it's called acute. If it's bigger, it's called obtuse. And if it is called, it is called a right angle, if it is exactly matching to our right angle, yeah? Okay, remember that we mark a right angle, not with a curve, but with something that looks like a square, so something like this. And this is called a right angle. Hope you understand the three different types of angles. First, we have the acute angle, which is smaller than 90 degrees. Then we have the obtuse, which is bigger than the 90 degrees. And we have our right angle, which we can use a paper right angle. We can also use the corner of our rulers. Yep, the corner of our rulers is a right angle. We can use the corner of a box. It's a right angle. We can use the corner of our book, which is also a right angle. Um, some people can just look and they know it's bigger than a right angle. Yeah. So these are the three angles that we learned. I hope you understand.